Hey, if you ever want to see somebody get upset, watch my 600 pound life. It's these people that come in and they, they're, they're going on their weight loss journey and they have this guy, Dr. Now, Dr. Now, you have to watch him. And it, most of the time, you know, you see some people who are pretty serious about their journey, but then you get some that mm, aren't really too serious about it. And they say, well, I've been following the diet and I've been doing everything. And he was like, you lie, you lie. And he tells them, we've given you the tools, we've given you the help, and he said, you just don't want to do better. You just do not want to do better. You, 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 you can't receive help. And he says, you lie, pretty much. I wonder sometimes when we pray, does God tell us the same thing? Yeah, you say you want your attitude to be better. You say you want your situation to be better. You say you want to do it. And I've told you what to do. Forgive. I've told you what to do. Help. I've told you what to do. Let it go. But you still won't do it. You lie. You lie. Listen, listen, listen what Paul said. Paul said, Paul said this, 1 Corinthians 13. He said, I had to talk to you like you were children in this Christian life. I had to feed you with milk and not with solid food because you can't handle anything stronger. You still aren't ready. I wonder sometimes, and I want you to think about in your spiritual life, are you the problem? And it's easier to blame situations. It's easier to blame what you've been through. But I want you to really think, are you the problem? And if the answer is yes, change today. That, that's literally all I'm saying. If you're the problem, start the journey to change. Stop lying to yourself. That is somebody else's fault. I heard Brian Loritt say this, and I love this quote. He says, your past may explain your behavior, but it doesn't excuse it. Bye.